Hello, I'm Martina and this is Natural Nerd. Today I will be showing you how I made my steampunk inspired laptop. I grew tired of the black and plain look my laptop had. I mean, we've all seen this standard design before, there's nothing really exciting about it. So I went to my local hardware store to see if I could find anything nice to spice it up with. What I found was these two rolls of wood patterned vinyl wrap. I thought it could look cool to give it an antique look, as antique as a laptop can look at least. I didn't really want to cover up the logo at the front, so I decided to try to make it part of the finished design. I figured the easiest way to do that was to trace it, using the same method we all did when we were kids tracing the surface of coins, and then mark it on the piece of vinyl and cut it out with a scalpel. It was kind of hard to make it fit perfectly. When it would finally stay in place, I could stick it to the surface and cut up the excess on the sides. Since I wanted to give it sort of a steampunk look, I bought a couple of slim and hollow metal pipes to fit around the edge. I went for the hollow ones since I wanted to bend them around the laptop. I glued it on with two component epoxy. I tried to avoid messing it up, but it's kind of hard to control. There were some places where excess glue would stick out, so I made sure to cut that away with a scalpel before it dried completely. I bent the pipes at the corners and cut them so that they fit. Then I fell down the edges. Don't really want to cut myself every time I'm going to use my laptop. I flattened two small leftover pieces and then glued them on as well. Now, it was time to apply the rest of the vinyl wrap. I measured the size of the screen, the logo and the webcam at the front so that it would fit nicely and then I applied the last two pieces of vinyl at the bottom. With the keyboard and all, I figured I'd just cut them out afterwards since there were slim tracks I could trace out. It was no problem at all finding the parts I had to cut. When this was done, I wasn't happy with how the edges turned out. I ended up cutting three pieces of the other vinyl wrap to cover it up. I think it looks way better this way. It looked a bit incomplete, and since I already put some gold in my design, I wanted to take it one tiny step further. I figured I would paint the buttons gold. It was tedious work masking out every single button, but I had to make sure to really cover it up properly. I didn't want any paint to float around underneath the tape. I used very thin layers of paint and made sure to let it dry between each layer. I had to apply very many layers until it appeared as solid gold. Since I'm going to use this laptop daily, I sprayed it with a clear coat afterwards to make it more robust. I let the paint dry for a couple of hours and then, finally, it was time to peel off the masking and see the result. I had a lot of fun making this laptop mod and as I use it constantly it was absolutely worthwhile giving it a new and more elegant look. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.